peace happy full moon in libra today is saturn's day april 16 2022 please remember full moons are a blast okay meaning you're gonna get hit with something okay so just be aware usually it's a trip out here with the full moons so with libra libra is about partnership libra is uh rectification typically karmic rectification um justice balance uh, the peacemaker, Libra is the peacemaker. I'm just saying, you know, Libra uh, is open enemies. Okay, so just be aware. But let's get into the message for the day. Let's get into the message for the day. What's going on? April 16, 2022. Okay. Let's get it. What's going on? I'm going to change the spread. Um possibly tomorrow but right now let's see who am i talking to who is this who am i talking to <sighs> two more Three of Wands. So I'm talking to someone who is who has refocused, it has already been focused on their own personal manifestations. Like, okay, I feel like I've done enough work, if you will, enough, put in enough energy, whatever it is, to see some type of return. The three of wands, okay. Call that card, you know, my ship coming in. This is Sun and Aries. So you may be an Aries Sun, but Aries itself is a spiritual visionary, okay? This is, Aries is like, this is what, you know, I am this, this is what, you know, this is what, this is what's going on, okay? Aries, all right? This is talking about right now, okay? So right now could be significant in, you know, some personal desire receiving such. Four of Pentacles. So this feels like, you know, this is, this is talking about a foundation, a physical foundation of some sort. Okay, I just got like a nest egg or something like that. All right, the star in reverse, princess of wands in reverse. Because I, I do feel like there's 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 a desire to have this because it's like, listen, um, I'm kind of losing hope or something's hopeless here. Star reverse. Well, let's see what, what's going on. What is going on? Let's not get too far into it. What's happening? Knight of Cups in reverse, because you know shit is 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 kind. It's not really, it's not really too sweet right now. Knight of Cups in reverse, like a lot of cynicism. Like I, it feels like I just need to get away. You know what I'm saying? Things are real down around me. I'm doing my best to like believe in what I believe in, if that makes sense. To believe that. Again, what I'm focusing on receiving, considering what I've been manifesting, that is coming. But in some shape, form, or fashion, like the 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 environment is kind of, I just got janky. I don't know, janky. Like it's like kind of toxic. Like people are possibly like mi like miserable. Like just the smart comments, like fake emotionally. Yeah, emperor. You know what I'm saying? Strong Aries vibes here with the emperor. The emperor is an authoritative figure, a leader, a father figure, boss-like, you know what I'm saying? Has their shit together. Ritualistic, something about rituals. Yeah, two of swords, a death card. There's a rat. Somebody wants to change something very radically here. Death card, blasted tower, like... Queen of Wands reverse King of Pentacles. There's a desire to get rid of some like just low vibe. This is just giving me like, this is giving somebody that they just know they want to achieve something grand. I'm getting like individual on their own to a very large degree. And then, but in the kind of like immediate environment, there's two people here, at least two people, or this is just one side of 
I mean, two sides of one person. Queen of Wands in reverse, jealous, vengeful, you know, just very nasty, pessimistic energy, mostly jealous. And then King of Pentacles reverse, somebody that got like, I just got like a broke spirit. Like they, they, they spirit keep them broke or their mentality keeps them broke. They could be lazy. Like they're not successful. I feel like this person's success will in some way reflect badly on this person, on these two people. And it's like, like, just get me away from there. All right. So what should this person do or keep doing to progress the situation? Um, Beyonce got my level on top. Beyonce got my level on top. My shoulder just got sore all of a sudden. I don't know. Princess of Swords. So keep studying. The, the you know the Princess of Swords, the Page of Swords. That's kind of like a like a studious type energy. Like keep stay curious. Stay curious. Somebody's absolutely an authoritative figure, but stay curious. Exploring different avenues. It feels like. Just stay, like, ignore this. Like, you know, keep uh, your nose in a book or scrolling, like, you know, progressively. Like, you know, make good, good use of your of your space and time with studying. Could be yourself, your own self, or, again, how to do this on your own. I feel like somebody, this is very individualistic. But Princess of Swords, stay diligent, okay? Nine of Wands, like, this is difficult. Like, somebody, I do feel, feel very much... That somebody doesn't have a lot of intimate support, meaning like, you know, people that are close to them that really honestly, truly support them, like believe in it. Like, I really do believe that you could do this. I do feel like that's type of support. Not that it doesn't exist, but it's not, it's it's far away. Like, you know, there's, you know, intimacy, it, it's about closeness. So you when it comes to emotional intimacy, that can kind of, you know, you can relate to someone intimately from afar emotionally if that makes sense you know you have someone to talk to but it's to balance that out you also need physical intimacy someone that is you know that you can physically go to whatever the situation to kind of like that gets it or something like that I feel like that's where it could be a little bit lacking just a little bit or even if it's not either way this is just still very difficult to go through the nine of wands this is like the wounded warrior but it does talk about persistence all right being vigilant, okay? Seven of Wands, stay in your ground. There's a lot of fire. So no matter what, ooh, the Knight of Wands. It feels like somebody's trying to get somebody in their emotional bag. Five of Cups, they do. They want somebody to... Um, they, there it could be something specific that somebody keeps trying to bring up that they know gets somebody emotional or some kind of a trigger or something. But justice is here. Ooh, ooh-wee, listen. Justice and the judgment... If it's not some type of physical court or something like that, spiritual or whatever, that it's happening right now. Like this person, the reason why this is so difficult is this: there's some kind of court process going on right now. It feels very spiritual that this person is proving spiritually, energetically by moving forward with this, despite what this demonic entity is trying to say pretty much, um, that they that they deserve it. And it's not easy. But this person is gaining a lot of wisdom through this too, um, with the hermit. So what is the outcome? What is the outcome? Considering this vibe today, what is the outcome? I just saw, I don't know, 905 uh, struck out, uh, 905 stuck out to me and 911 when I looked up again. So 911 is like my number for like, you know, for me, it's about recalling your power because I do numbers. So, I, like when you call nine one one, like nine one one, when you call out, it's kind of like not a good energy. It's like you can't help yourself. So when I do get nine one one, for me, it means pay attention to yourself because there's a high chance right now that you're giving your power away or somebody's trying to take your power away. That's what nine one one means for me. So.
four wands in reverse. So there's, you know, um, again, you know, like this lack of support, it could be very domestic. This is the four of wands. All right. Somebody that you lived with or, or once lived with or um, four of wands also talks about like some kind of spiritual connection, a strong bond somewhere energetically living together or just somebody that you had a lot of good times with or something like that. But four of wands in reverse, this does talk about a separation. Like there will be a separation from this energy. If it's happened physically already, then it's even more distant emotionally, energetically. There's more separation from this opposing energy because I do feel like that somebody is focused on a particular manifestation, but the emotional energy around them is very toxic and overwhelming. Um, hey man, that's Sagittarius. That's also expansion. All right. It's about perspective. All right. Yeah, seven of pentacles reversed, ace of cups reversed. There's a, yeah, there's a, like a lot of tension. Um, even feeling like somebody's love, somebody may feel like even their love for this entity has gone. Not that they don't love this person anymore, but like, I don't like this person. Like, I don't like them. Like, I, you know, I don't wish them any harm. Okay. That could be like still like, I love you, meaning I don't wish you any harm, but. Like, I don't like you. I'm six of Wands, I don't want to give any attention to this. I don't want to support you. I'm not looking for any attention. You don't have to invest in me. I won't invest in you type situation. Two of Swords in reverse. High Priestess. Like, I know this is the source of my problems. This burden, this Ten of Wands is making it, me difficult. And I'm focused on myself. All right? So let's get two cards. Let's get two. As far as... More advice, the outcome. Let's get two cards. <sighs> Success, the fish, wealth, like money. Okay, that's what this is like wealth, money, success. Like it is okay. Th like this, if you if you're focused on a business, whatever your business is, it doesn't have to necessarily be like a brick and mortar business. You can be your uh, business, aka okay, if you have um, like a like Virgo or Leo, if you're cuspy um, as, as a rising sign, you would have Aries. Anybody? Well, if you have Aries in the tenth house, your business is you. Okay, your business is you, and Aries is showing up here very strong. We have Sun and Aries. We have Venus and Aries here, and yeah, this is about you know your status, your career, whatever that is. It doesn't necessarily have to be something very physical, but it is success. Okay, it, it, this is money. Okay, and we have Fox. So somebody could be you know very slick with it, slick mouth or whatever, very deceptive in their ways, like a covert type person, a passive aggressive person, a covert narcissist or whatever the situation is, you know what I'm saying, to deter this person from the, I feel like the success that they know that they're gonna have, all right? That's what I feel like, ooh, and again, with the house on the bottom, again, I was saying that this is something very domestic, you could have lived together, whatever the situation is, but the rider and the whip, I feel like this is this person pushing themselves to move past this because they can they know they got a new life here a whole new life um and this the, the tree card for me is like not a whole not just a whole new life for me but for my offspring if i don't have offspring offspring like the future i'm going to leave a mark for the a, you know leave a, my own footprints in the sand for a better life you know in the next incarnation or whatever that is or just overall it's good health you know what i'm saying Real shit. I like it a lot. All right. I appreciate y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.